Hey guys, this is Monday, 2am in Cebu, that means it's time for the weekly mutation. So this week we have Fusil Resistance, a Lock and Load, and we have a new mutator, it is Propagators. Anything they touch will turn into one of them, and you essentially lose them. So let's do a little bit of cheese this game. We will be doing the Rainer Atanas, and my ally Hunter is playing as Atanas. So I start immediately with a barracks at 12 supply and then I follow up with an SCV. We need things for the prop to turn before our base. Yeah, I thought that the propagators can be blocked by the buildings, but it turns out that even the buildings can get turned into a propagator, and then we'll find that out later. So I start another barracks. Yeah, the plan was to wall off, but turns out it was not needed nor is it effective. So I sent out another SCV so I can get three barracks out. Barracks. No. Barracks. There we go. So as soon as my command center finishes, I drop the mule. So I can augment my income right away. Let's uh, drop a supply depot right there. And yeah, not much is going on right now, but a rally a, a marine to the south lock. The south lock is the least defended of all five, so that's the one we take first. So I park my marine there and just... Yeah, I'm waiting for my ally. There he goes. He drops the power field and then warps in a zealot to start claiming the lock. So yeah, that's the only lock that's not going to be defended. You'll see later on that once we start claiming the central lock, stuff will happen. So as soon as they drop, start getting attacked by a whole bunch of units. So my ally uses orbital strike to soften them up for us. And drop a few more marines. Which is great since they all have Guardia Shell. Even though they don't have that much HP, they will eventually overwhelm the defenses since they have mules. So Hunter was able to also place a Zealot right there. That is great news for us. So as, as you can see on the mini map, the first propagator. Must be present to claim the, objective. the first propagator has spawned on the southeast. Yeah, there's a little exclamation point there. That's a little bit annoying. <laughs> we need a we need a scan. But I don't have I don't have yet the energy. So at the time I wasn't actually looking at the minimap, so I didn't notice the propagator come in. Yeah, look. <laughs> the propagators are running into our base and yeah these things have a lot of health 450 health when they last clicked on them so ally is trying to uh, let them chase a dragoon and he uses solar bombardment to kill them off yeah it looks like they do hit buildings we had that tight wall but it seems that they turned a building into one of them anything yeah according to our ally yeah, 500 health is uh, not precise, it's 450 health. That little Dark Templar though. I need any energy, I'm only at 45 energy. <laughs> we cannot claim the objective without our ally. We're gonna have to wait a little bit. There we go. Now we have enough energy. It looks like another Propagator got into our base. So we need to take care of that. Let's use the Hyperion. Yamato. So if you're playing this, the Propagators hit air units, ground units, even heroic units. So if you let Kerrigan fight one of the Propagators, she will turn into one of them. 
unless you kite properly. So now that defense is cleared, I use my appearance on this lock, last base, and then I use another Duskwings. And then I drop. Yeah, they're starting to claim it. And my ally drops some zealots to finalize our claim. And looks like we will be able to. Ooh. Yeah, all our four history to propagators, but it's fine since we have already claimed that and we'll claim the last lock. GG. Easy peasy. <laughs> all five celestial locks have been activated. Amon will be unable to bypass them again. Well done, commanders. Yeah, if you want to choose that, you need to use Raynor and Artanis. And I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. If you have a suggestion for what else you can use, please leave that in a comment. And as you can see the score screen, uh, it's not really that important. I do still get the XP, the bonus XP, and yeah, Raynor's still effective. So he had a lot of questions on last week's videos. Lu Chen Yan asks if I could upload some more Carax replays. It's actually a bit difficult to upload Carax replays outside of mutators because in normal missions, other commanders have more options to clear the map faster than Carax who either has to wait until he has enough carriers or he has to do a slow cannon push to break into the enemy's defenses. But I will do my best, stay tuned. Stain Wayne asks what is more powerful in co-op, Ascendant or Dark Templar? I have to say that it is definitely Ascendant, because not only can they hit air, they also have more flexible abilities depending on what enemies you are facing. They have Mind Blast for big enemies such as Hybrid, and Psionic Orb for big waves of smaller units. But Dark Templar are pretty good too. Craft My Dream asks if Phoenix's Disruptor skill does friendly fire. No, it does not. There is no friendly fire in co-op. In fact, sometimes I nuke my own forces Nova just to clear off pesky enemy forces surrounding us. So use all the area damage you need. Alright, so if you have more questions or comments, feel free to send them and I will do my best to answer. See you!